Hey guys, this is Patrick. This video is for mobile interfaces and usability, the January 2012 term, and this is for week four, project four. Um, things that went well, I mean, just watching the videos, jumping right in, using the design uh, techniques that we learned this week uh, was fairly easy. Um, my application already had quite a few, th few of the things more or less built in. I kind of messed with my CSS a little bit um, and worked on that and I also um, added some cleaner crisper icons to navigate through um, and you can see over here too um, so those things were fun I really enjoyed it so that was probably what was the easiest um, what was harder than I expected not really that I expected it but it was just hard um, continuing to try to connect my um, my form to save to local storage I am able to actually save something to local storage, but I don't want to say it's actually the right thing. Um, so it's it's halfway there. Unfortunately, it's just not completely there. And looking forward to the future. Talking about that, that is exactly what I'm looking forward to. Is I'm hoping next month, where we get back into the uh, the coding side of things, um, I'm really hoping to be able to put that all together um, to really make this thing work. So. Um, don't expect it to be easy, but I really want it to work. And thinking back to the past and where we kind of came from, what we learned, how to relate it, um, you know, just developing this application from where it started in week one, where jQuery Mobile really didn't even, uh, well, exist so much. Um, it's just night and day what it looks like now. Absolutely night and day. And jQuery Mobile is definitely really cool. Learned a lot about it, and I'm looking forward to learn more about jQuery and how that connects to jQuery Mobile. Um, just talking about the applications. Over here is my good app. Over here is my wrong app. Um, and the basic ideas of this week. So, uh, branding, streamlined branding. I have it across the top, and if you go to any page, it's going to always be there at the top of this, the screen and that's pretty much it so I kept that consistent throughout um, then over here this is the wrong app I did not um, you'll just see as soon as I go through it's gone all the pages you go through are gone so um, not very streamlined by any means um, then few hues many values um, my app was already kind of like that um, and you can see like the bluish background, the blue header, um, all these different colors of blues. I really didn't mean to take this from Facebook. It really wasn't my intention, that, that kind of concept of color. Um, it just kind of, I love blue, I can say that. And I just kind of build, started building it this way and that's kind of what it, the way it went. Also jQuery Mobile kind of has these blues already built in. So that's kind of where it came from too. Um, but yeah, going through constantly the same uh, hue different values so I really liked it over here just to I mean it's crazy how quickly you can make something look like crap um, these are such bright colors they clash because they're so similar in probably like their the, the the darkness of it and you're going through I mean it just it looks terrible um, the deep backgrounds going right into this I, I did a light background with a small gradient if you can see it gets lighter over here it gets lighter too but it's darker it just doesn't mesh well with uh, some of the things um, it blends those words in it, it doesn't make certain things pop as much I don't think so over here you know these really stand out uh, as you go through to you know everything uh, in terms of these back or these uh, call to actions really stand out as well um, same with the form if you go over to this form it's a little bit harder to read everything. So anyway, the lighter one is much better, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this class. I really, really uh, feel like I learned a lot, but ready to learn more. I'm ready to move back into coding and really getting that down. So thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next month.